going welcome back to my channel gardening in cold spring harbor i hope all of you are doing well and are staying safe vine ripened tomato is the best tasting tomato right wrong in today's video we're going to dispel one of the biggest gardening myths and that is vine ripened tomato myths in today's video i'm going to show you exactly when you should be picking your tomatoes and why you my fellow home gardeners should never let your tomatoes fully ripen on the vine so for those of you looking for the online gardening channel which offers tips tricks easy yet proven gardening advice to take your home gardens to the next level don't go anywhere guys stick around with me today start with going below this video and clicking the subscribe button for those of you who enjoy the content of my videos i'm on youtube to send you notifications every single time i'll upload a new garden video click the bell icon as well now come with me let's get gardening those home gardeners who allow your tomatoes to fully ripen on the vine you are making a huge mistake this tomato myth has caused an epidemic tomato loss. Millions of gardeners around the world who allow their tomatoes to fully ripen on the vine have contributed to millions of pounds of crop loss with no apparent benefit when it comes to flavor or the quality of the tomato food. In order to understand why this is a myth, a lie, why there is no benefit, no point to ever allow our tomatoes to fully ripen on the vine, we must first understand the growing process of tomatoes as well as the ripening process of the tomato fruit. Tomato fruit starts to grow and reach maturity stage. Tomato fruits produce a compound called ethylene gas. Same goes for peppers, avocado, even bananas. When the ethylene gas reaches a certain concentration levels, that is when our tomatoes start to reach their full maturity. More ethylene gas, the higher the concentration of ethylene gas, the faster your tomatoes will reach this maturity phase, the ripened phase. So where does the vine ripened tomato get this false reputation from? The reputation that they're the best tasting tomatoes out there. This false reputation actually comes from commercial supermarket trades. Tomato maturity is broken down into four individual stages or phases. The first phase is the immature green phase. Second stage is the mature green phase. Next, the third stage is called the breaker phase, which is actually the most important phase, followed by the fourth phase, which is called the ripe phase. So what is the immature green phase? That is the phase which starts with the blossom or the tomato bloom, the formation of the tomato fruit itself, and the growth of the tomato fruit, until it reaches the mature green face or the larger sized green tomato face. What is the breaker face, which is probably the most crucial maturity face and the face which we will concentrate the most on in today's video. That is when your tomato starts to visibly change color from green to either yellow, red, purple, depending on the variety of the tomato which you're growing. How long do these stages last depends on the variety of the tomato you're growing, as well as the sizing of the tomato variety which you're growing in your home garden. Immature green tomato face is the process which encompasses everything from the formation of the flower blossom formation of the tomato fruit itself and the growing process until your tomato reaches the mature green tomato face that stage the mature green tomato stage 
has a lot to do with the vine ripened tomato myth. Grocery store tomatoes have a long journey ahead of them. Sometimes we're talking about thousands of miles. Fully ripened tomatoes are softer and juicier in texture. Hence, they have a bigger chance of getting bruised or damaged during the transportation process. Bruised or damaged tomatoes are the type of tomatoes that no consumer is going to want to purchase at their local grocery store, which is why commercial farmers pick or harvest their tomatoes during their mature green phase, when the tomatoes are still firm and hard to the touch. Because during their journey, their traveling journey to your local warehouse or supermarket, these hard firm tomatoes are less likely to get damaged or uh, bruised. So what happens to these mature green tomatoes that are picked by commercial farmers? They get packaged in boxes or crates and shipped to the nearest warehouse or a grocery store facility. They are stacked one on top of the other and artificially gassed with ethylene. Once those tomatoes, those thousands of tomatoes are exposed to artificial ethylene gas, they ripen right there inside the room in that warehouse, which is when that warehouse is ready to distribute those fully ripened tomatoes to your local grocery stores, which is exactly why those grocery store tomatoes most of the time not only never smell like tomatoes they don't even taste like tomatoes half of the time they smell like nothing and they taste like absolutely nothing compared to our home grown home ripened delicious fragrant sweet tomatoes we all know that if you pick your tomatoes when they're still in mature green face there is less chance almost no chance at all that your tomatoes will reach that delicious flavor that fragrance naturally but that also doesn't mean that we should ever let our tomatoes fully ripen on the vine either how many times us home gardeners have admired beautiful tomato plants walked around seen our tomatoes start to change color only to say, let's wait a few more hours. Let's wait another day before I'll harvest my beautiful, delicious tomato. Only to come next day to find that your tomato fruit has been damaged, either by wind, humidity, animal, or even pests. Why wait so long? This is exactly what contributes to this massive tomato loss epidemic which we were talking about. I picked this tomato last night and you could see the huge crack right over here. This crack is all due to environmental causes. We've been having lots of humidity and lots of heavy rains the last two days. So all that excess moisture, all that excess humidity is what caused this beautiful tomato fruit to crack right on top. Let me show you this tomato fruit right over here which i'm going to harvest right in front of you my fellow home gardeners look at this damage right over here i should have honestly picked this fruit a few days ago you could see that it started to change color so it is at the breaker stage of maturity which is exactly when we should be harvesting our tomatoes because if we let our tomatoes go beyond the breaker stage the breaker face we are risking this kind of damage to our tomato fruit if not worse during the breaker phase is when the color of our tomato fruit starts to visibly change going from green to whatever the color of your mature tomato fruit should be once it is ripe depending on the variety of the tomato which you're growing it's going to start to change colors from the blossom and first slowly going up, encompassing the entire fruit itself. A breaker stage is the only stage when your tomato still needs to remain on the vine. 
Why? Because at this stage, during the breaker stage, your tomato fruit gets separated, gets blocked from the main plant itself. There is a cell wall that gets formed, which stops the nutrients from going from the mother plant through the vine to your tomato fruit. Hence, your tomato fruit is considered to be vine ripened exactly at this point. Keeping your tomato fruit on the tomato plant, on the vine past the breaking stage is not necessary because it's not going to contribute to your tomato fruit getting better or tasting better or becoming more ripened. In fact, your tomato fruit will no longer be getting nutrients from the mother plant going forward from this point on. So when should you pick your tomato fruits? During the breaker phase. More specifically, when your tomato fruit is 30 to 50% ripe. When you're starting to see your tomato fruit change color, about 30 to 50% into what the mature, fully ripened color should be. So if your tomato fruit has been separated from the host plant for quite some time, and there's nothing physically happening that would enhance your tomato fruit's flavor, why so many people out there still consider vine ripened tomatoes to be the best tasting tomatoes well it's all in our heads guys it's all a perception let me show you very clear example of when we should be picking our tomato fruit at what point during the breaker phase should we be picking our tomato fruits of course the coloring will depend on the variety of the tomatoes you're growing whether you're growing red tomatoes purple tomatoes pink tomatoes red tomatoes so please judge for yourself and base it on the tomato variety however we can all tell when our tomatoes are green in color we can also clearly can tell when our tomatoes starting to change the color right over here is a very clear example of a tomato fruit which has just entered the breaker phase you could see that the bottom is still green, solid green, yet the blossom end of the tomato has started to slowly change the coloration. Here is a tomato which I'm going to pick right now, which you could see it's at least 30% into the breaker face. How do I know? because I could clearly and visibly see the color change from the blossom end, encompassing all the way down. You could see the pink coloring of the tomato. So this tomato is about 30% ripe. Here is the tomato, which is about 50% ripe. It is clearly more red and yellow in the coloring, yet it hasn't reached full maturity phase just yet here is a tomato which is a hundred percent fully mature you could see the difference in the color let me add the first tomato as well right over here you can clearly see the difference in the phases or the stages how do i know that this tomato is at least 90 to 100 percent ripe because it has already been cracked and damaged on top and you can clearly feel the difference in the texture of the tomato fruit itself as well so when should you pick your tomatoes should you wait till this stage absolutely not there's absolutely no reason to you can pick and in fact should pick your tomato when they are this growing stage the breaker stage and you could choose to pick it at 30 percent or 50 percent that is totally up to you breaker phase tomato fruits are less prone to be damaged by environmental causes or animals and pests. Why? Because they're still more firm to the touch. They're less visible, less attractive to animals and pests. They're also less sweet and less juicy. If you leave your tomatoes on the vine till they're fully ripened, 
you are risking losing your tomato fruits altogether. To what, you might ask? To environmental causes, which is exactly what happened to this tomato fruit of mine. You could see this large, big, deep crack, which was caused by moisture content in the air and humidity. How many times we try to pick our tomato fruit only to see tomato juices on our fingers because there are bite marks and holes throughout our tomato fruit. Who did that? Slugs could have done it. Squirrels could have done it. Birds could have pecked at our sweet ripened tomato fruit. Even rabbits and raccoons could have all bit into our tomato fruit. So there's absolutely no need to keep our tomato fruits on the vine till they reach their full maturity. In fact, when picking, harvesting our tomatoes during their breaker phase, there is a very quick, very easy way to have them ripen as quick as possible. And if you have a huge tomato harvest, you can also be in control of how many tomatoes you ripen and how quickly you ripen. And I'm going to show you right now how you can successfully do that yourself in your own home. Now that you picked your tomatoes, at either 30% ripen face or 50% ripen face. How do you get your tomatoes to that 100% ripen face? You get them inside, indoors, into your home. Away from bright sunlight and away from humidity. You get them indoors where the temperatures are roughly between 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's equivalent to 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. You get them away, as far away from a window as well. So you wanna keep them cool and in a darker location. How many of you, my fellow home gardeners, have heard of the paper bag trick? Placing your tomato food inside with say a banana or even an apple and to have it ripen very quickly. Guess what? This method actually works wonders. By placing your 30% ripened or even 50% ripened tomatoes inside any paper bag. By sealing the bag off and by bringing it inside indoors into a room with no bright sunlight and with temperatures between 65 to 75 percent you're going to have your tomato fruits ripen beautifully in hours or in a few short days depending on the size of the tomato as well as the tomato variety itself 65 to 75 degrees fahrenheit is equivalent to 18 to 24 degrees celsius so the goal is to get them away from bright direct sunlight. The more tomatoes you place in the bag, the higher the concentration of ethylene gas will be and the faster your tomatoes will ripen. You are creating physically altered environment for your tomato fruits inside that bag. You're physically altering ethylene compound concentration, hence helping your tomato fruits ripen much faster the beginning stages of the tomato harvest season and say you only have one two or three tomatoes that are ready to be picked how can you speed up the ripening process you can speed up the ripening process by placing your tomatoes inside the paper bag with either peppers avocados bananas or even apples Th those fruits also release ethylene gas compounds which will help increase the ethylene gas concentration inside the bag and help your tomatoes ripen faster. If it's late in the harvesting season and you have lots and lots of tomatoes and you don't want them to ripen as quickly, spread them out. Tomatoes can store better in air temperatures all the way down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. However, don't expose your tomato fruits to temperatures below 55 degrees. Why? Because how many of us have stored our tomatoes in a fridge or purchased grocery store tomatoes and placed them in the fridge only to find that they taste bland? They're hard like rocks. They have no fragrance to them. Why? Because temperatures below 55 degrees ruin the enzymes inside your tomatoes, which in fact do alter the flavor of our tomatoes. I highly recommend that you store your tomatoes 
at 55 degrees Fahrenheit or above. This is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today in my home, my home garden in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. In today's video, we spoke about why all of us, fellow home gardeners, should never ever let our tomatoes fully ripen on the vine. So for those of you who enjoyed the content of today's video, if you found today's video to be useful, helpful, informative, in absolutely any way, don't be shy guys, show me that support. It's super easy for you to do, yet it's so pleasing and rewarding to me. Simply click thumbs up below. Show me how much you appreciate and enjoy watching this video. Leave your comments in the comment section as well. Lately, many more of you have been writing to me, sharing your gardening experience with me, asking me gardening questions, asking for gardening advice, and I truly and sincerely appreciate each and every single one of you. I personally read each and every single one of your comments and take my time to respond to each and every single one of you. For those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my gardening channel, Gardening Cold Spring Harbor, don't wait any longer, guys. Do so today. It's super easy. Just go below this video and click the subscribe button. If you want to get notifications every single time I'll upload a new garden video, click the bell icon below as well. Stay healthy, happy, be well, each and every single one of you. And as I always like to say at the end of every one of my gardening videos, happy gardening, guys. And I'll see you again in my new upcoming garden videos. Bye, guys.